hey guys this is Shane and today I'll be showing you how you can enable and disable offload and also what is offload so let's get into that first thing you need to do is you need to go into settings and then go into general iPhone storage and you will see the option to offline unused apps what that really means is Apple is gonna pretty much figure out based on your screen time on what application that you use and if you don't use them they will just automatically delete the application but keeps the documents and the data so when you re-download it it's almost like you never deleted it so I have it disabled for the time being and it's kind of weird you would imagine that if the option to enable the offload unused apps is here the disables also should be here right but no so let's go ahead and enable this I just turned this off for this tutorial but I want to show you a quick example of how it looks like for an application that was removed from your iPhone. Going to my Nest screen here, you can see activity which I don't use anymore because of coronavirus. You can see that there's a little icon right next to the name that shows like the iCloud and also the download logo. So that's what it looks like. And if I try to open activity, what that is going to do is it's going to start to download it into my device. One of the downside of this is it's pretty much reinstalling applications which is going to take your data. So if you have data caps then obviously this is annoying. But it saves a good chunk of your space. So let's go ahead and learn how we can disable the offload option. So to do that we need to go back into settings. Once you're in settings, scroll down to iTunes and App Store. You will see the option for offload unused apps you're gonna go ahead disable it and that's how you would disable that option thank you so much for watching this video I really do appreciate your time if you found this video helpful make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it so you'll be the first one to know when I upload a video I'll see y'all in the next one bye